All right, so I'm going to fly down to Chehalis, assuming the clouds don't get in my way. I don't like that there. And uh, I think I probably had enough fuel to get there. But I was kind of bouncing it around and weighing the chances if, if I had enough to get back here, if they didn't have any fuel. And finally it occurred to me how stupid that was because it's cheaper there. And I wanted to fill up as much, put as much of the fuel in down there as I could and not put any in here because I could save like 30 or 40 bucks. 280 instead of $5 a gallon. And then I decided, you know what? This is completely and utterly idiotic that I would be trying to figure out if I could make it back here if they didn't have fuel down there just to save a few bucks. Totally, totally, totally stupid just to save a few bucks. Totally stupid. So I put in five gallons. I had a quarter tank or so here, eighth of a tank here. So this one I'm ignoring. I put in five gallons here. It's actually reading almost full. Um, so I've got tons to get down there. And if if they don't have fuel when I get down there, I've got plenty to get back here without worrying about it. So that was just idiotic to try to justify going down there on as little fuel as I possibly could. Totally stupid so I put in five gallons I'm on the left tank and it's almost full so it may have had more than a quarter in it but it probably had more than a quarter in it if the plane had been level it probably would have read higher but you know what totally who cares it does not matter that I maybe put in more here than I had to have to get down and back but that was the smart thing to do yeah, that was dumb that I was even bouncing that around. All right, I have not flown in five weeks. The last time I flew, I did my cross, my big cross country over to, I mean, it was my second, really my second significant cross country down to or over to Eastern Washington. That was five weeks ago. And then the coronavirus popped up and maybe there was some weather that I was using as an excuse and I didn't fly for a little bit and then my annual came up so I couldn't legally fly at that point and uh, so then that delayed me another maybe two weeks or maybe three weeks. It took a little bit before my mechanic could get to it, and then over the course of a week, we worked on it off and on a couple times and finished it up last night, Saturday evening. So it's Sunday here. It's supposed to be nice today, but kind of overcast. So maybe what I'll do, since I just did the annual and we actually overhauled the magnetos, that was fun. Maybe I'll just stay in the pattern for a bit for... Maybe do a couple landings here. Just to make sure the engine doesn't blow up on takeoff or something, or what after I've been in the air for one minute. So I got good oil pressure, alright. Then after a couple laps in the pattern, I'll do a departure straight to the south. Go down to Chehalis, fill up, and then wanna do some other things. Okay, strobes are on, nav lights are on. All right, let's see here. Run up, controls are free and correct. And I already tested all that. The direction's good. Instruments look good. Gas and correct tank. Gas is on the left tank, right tank is off. I've got plenty in here. I'm not gonna switch tanks until I fill up either down to Halus or back here. Altimeter, I set that back at the pumps. Let's do a run up. Seat belts are good here. All right, let's do a run up.
Right mag stops when I turn the key to the left mag stops. Yep, that's all good. Left mag only, get a little drop. Right mag only, get a little more drop, but not bad either way. Back to both mags, carb heat is working. All right, goes nothing. Let's, we'll just stay in the pattern. Pierce County traffic, Luscombe 1813 Kilo, taking off runway 17. I'll be staying in the pattern, Pierce County. All right, trim is good. I've not flown in five weeks, and I only have 30-something hours, so I'm pretty sure my skills diminish very, very quickly. So let's take our time here. Let's get lined up first. Trim's good. There we go. Keep it on the center line. And we are flying. Engine sounds good. Feels smooth. I got my prop balanced as well this past week during the annual. Actually, feels smoother. Because it was vibrating, not horribly, but it was vibrating. Now let's go ahead and I'm going a little fast. Let me get down to VY so I can get up to altitude a little quicker. Pierce County traffic, Luscombe 1813 Kilo, turning left crosswind for 17 Pierce County. So I'm turning crosswind a little bit early before I'm as high as I would normally be because I want to get pointed back towards the runway. Pierce County traffic, Luscombe 1813 Kilo, turning left downwind for runway 17 Pierce County. All right, so if I lose my engine here, I'm pointed back more towards the runway rather than extending my upwind. And yeah, my strobes and nav lights are on, so that's good. Yeah, I believe, and it could be confirmation bias, but I believe that I'm smoother. The engine is smoother now than it was. I'm at midfield. Let's turn on the car peak because I'm flying a tight pattern here, which is which is fine. I'm actually 1400. I'm beam the numbers. Let's go ahead and pull back. There's 1,500, and we'll trim all the way up. Pierce County traffic, Luscombe 1813 kilos, turning final for runway 17 Pierce County. So I'm just going to... Swing it all the way around here since I am tight. And we'll just power all the way down. We're at a good airspeed, nice and slow at 70 miles an hour. Nobody on final. And a thousand. A little fast. And let's slip it. Oh, you get some birds in the grass down there. Flying around just about ground level. And they're going off to the right. All right. I'll get on the brakes a little bit because I did land a little bit long. Pierce County traffic, Luscombe 1813 Kilo is clear of runway 17, Pierce County. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that wasn't terrible. Landing not great. All right, you know what? Plane seems good. I'm going to head out. Trim is set. I have forgotten to set the trim sometimes before I took off the next time and plane goes woo if you're not on it that could be not ideal um, that was okay yeah actually felt fine it didn't 
I didn't feel quite like I had forgotten how to fly. Plane seems good. Engine is smooth. I think the propeller balancing, I mean, it wasn't horrible, but I think it made a difference. I believe it did. Feels smoother to me. And I could even see things vibrating before, and maybe a little bit still, because that's the nature of a reciprocating engine. But I think it's better. All right, let's head down 44 miles to Chehalis. Yeah, we're getting some clouds here. We got some hills. So definitely the tops of these hills and the clouds are getting pretty close together. But I've got some lower terrain off to the left, so that's not a problem. And I can see, I can see a long way. And the clouds should be burning off over the course of the day. Actually, I'm down to 1,300 now. I'm trying to keep some distance from those clouds. So... I think we're okay. Don't want to get too close to the clouds. And there's nothing out here. I don't need to stay any particular distance away from anything on the ground here. And I'm pretty sure that I can see beyond where Chehalis is, so that's not a problem. Down to 1,100 feet now again, just keep a distance from the clouds. And I see a field over there that I would attempt to land in if I lost the engine right now. At 2,000 feet, maneuvering uh, west of the field for 45 entry right traffic, 1-6, Centralia. Oh, wait a minute. No. So, 1-6 is southbound. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cross over. I'm going to... I'm going to get northwest of the field because, yeah, 1-6, got my directions mixed up. I was going to land to the north, but I want to land to the south, so I'm just going to head, I'm going to turn west here, the north of my course, or north of what I, my course was going to be. And I'll just fly west to where the field is, then I'll come southward and uh, do a... Oh, wait a minute. No, good grief, man. I'm such an idiot. Australia traffic, uh, red light cell barriers, uh, five no. miles to the north, uh, following the white mall inbound. No, that's, in Australia. that's correct. Yeah, I totally... Uh, roger that, and I have you off my uh, port way. Yeah, when I... I have to think about this stuff in my Did head. Did you see you cutting right in front of me about eight miles back at about a hundred feet above me? When I, to, I did not. When I have to think about this in my head, it's really hard to visualize. I don't know how I could have cut in front of you if you're off my port side. I've been coming straight down from Olympia. You diagonaled right over. We can talk on the ground. I'm sorry. Um, my bad. We will. And I apologize. All right, no big thing. Just wanted to let you know. Alright, well that was that was exciting. It looks like someone jumped in front of someone else and Shahalis traffic, Luscombe one eight one three kilo, about uh, fifteen miles to the north. I'm headed westbound and I'll uh, make a forty five into the left downwind uh, for three four. Shahalis. Shayless traffic, Luscombe one eight one three kilo. I'm just starting to turn on the forty five, uh, maybe eight miles. Uh, for left downward for 3-4, and I'm looking for that mall, James. Yeah, I'm about uh, two miles. Sounds good, thank you. Okay, traffic, uh, Blue Night Tail Raiders, on final, runway 3-4. Centralia traffic, white mall, left downwind for 3-4, Centralia. Shayless traffic, Luscombe 1813 kilos on the left downwind for 3-4. Uh, is that the mall that's kind of on a, a wide downwind there? Affirmative. Okay, I'll, uh, 
I'll wait for you to turn base and I'll follow you in. Centralia traffic, white mall, left down or left base, four three four. Centralia. Get people call. I think Gene had me calling. Shahalis. Five mile forty-five two three. Traffic Lusk 1813 Kilos turning left base for 34 Shahalis. Shahalis traffic, white mall turning final 34 Shahalis. Yep. Yeah, I'm going fast here. Um, throttle all the way back. Hey, are you guys saying KLS is in uh, Kilo Lima Sierra? Shahalis traffic, let's go 1813 Kilos, turning final for 3 4 Shahalis. Oh, that was exciting. Shahalis traffic, Lusk, company 13 kilos going around Shahalis. Shahalis, uh, white mall's clear. Got a little bit of your exciting uh, wake vortex on final there. excitement that I was in, interested in. Sorry, that makes two for me. <laughs> no problem. Keep me on my toes. Yeah, all the way back to idle, because... Shelf traffic, uh, let's make you a minor Bravo now established on the left downwind. Uh, full stop, left way, three, three, status, and whatever, two behind the left. Okay. Shahalis traffic, let's go, one, eight, one, three kilos, turning final for three, four, Shahalis. Tiny bit fast, but not too bad. Actually, no, this is good. Now I'm down almost 72. Yeah, this is good. I'll be right on the money. That was terrible. I think I was I was looking too close. Instead of looking down the runway. Stupid. Oh well. Well, those mags seem to work okay. Well, it looks like maybe a few people are waiting in line for fuel. So, I'll just uh, kill it. And see if that's the case. Fuel up. Those guys in the head.
So yeah, one six is the right pattern, so I'll, de I'll depart on the downwind. And this guy's opening up a little bit. Not as in raining really hard, but as in get some blue. Okay, hey, let's traffic money, 201 over me. Three miles to the east, we'll be over flying the field at 2000. We'll plan on teardrop, right entry, right downwind, one six, Shayla's. And say hail traffic, uh, Grumman 76 Golf Charlie. We're just a mile or two to the north and we have you in sight. Uh, we have the Mooney in sight. We're transitioning the airspace uh, to the south. There's somebody up there, that's probably an airliner. I see a light up there. All right, trim is good. Strobes are on, lights are on. Fuel is on one tank. This tank, they're both full. Now I've got the transitioning traffic to the south of the One of them refill. Cabin heat, I'll turn that off. Yep. Double check the trim so I don't complicate my life on takeoff. And they're landing one sail. Okay, traffic 2201 over me, I'm over flying the field, 1700 field. 1,700 feet, went on left teardrop entering, right down one, what's it, Shales. Actually, you know, instead of doing that, eh, maybe that's what I'll do, let's see. I don't know, it doesn't matter too much. I could do right down one departure, or I could just peel off, climb out, straight out. Eh, I'll do right, right down one departure. Direct two. And Chahela's traffic, White Mall is taking one six and departing to the north on uh, left traffic. Chahela's traffic, money two zero one of our main uniform, right downwind one six. Chahela's. Traffic Luscom 1813 Kilo. I'm going to follow that ball in a left downwind departure to the north, Chalice. But I'm going to stay out of his prop wash and his wingtip vortices. Alright. There goes nothing. Well, he's, he's not taking off at a high angle of attack, so it's no big deal. Oh, look at him. He's shooting up there. I'm gonna climb out. I'm gonna do a VX climb here, best ankle. Traffic White Mall is on a left crosswind, departing to the north on a uh, left downwind for 1-6. Shayless traffic, Mooney 201 November uniform. Right base, 1-6, Shayless. And Shayless traffic, White Mall is turning on that downwind for, or left downwind for 1-6 and departing to the north. Shahalas, traffic mini 201 of our main form, final 16, Shahalas. Go traffic, very much for Charlie on the upwind off of 1, 2, will be returning 3 0 on a simulated engine failure, Delta. Shahalas traffic, let's go 1813 kilo turning left uh, crosswind for left uh, downwind departure to the north behind the mall, Shahalas. Is that that, uh... Wait a minute, is that another one of those plants? I don't think it's the same one. Let me fly over there. I got lots of fuel. Let me, let me fly around a little bit here. And actually, what I want to do, too... 
let me get this stratus set up. Let me fly straight and level. Uh, gearbox. Uh, let's see. AHRS, is that what I want? Straight and level. So I want to be straight and level. Straight and level. Straight and level. I think that's probably as good as anything. Uh, done. Alright, so that's straight and level. So it's just for fun. Alright, I'm going to come down a little bit. I'm going to fly past this. So it's really traffic, helicopter 447, runway to Charlie is approximately 6 miles to the north maneuvering. So Charlie. Looks kind of like the other one, but it's closer. The other one's on the other side of those hills, I think. So let me come down a little bit, because I'm also close to the clouds. About 15, we'll come down to, I don't know, 13 or 12 and overfly this plant, just because it's cool. And then, well, let's do, let's climb up and away from it, and let's see. Delta Charlie, 798 Charlie, turn right cross wind, 1, 2, Delta. Let's see what our vertical speed is when we climb on full fuel. Oh, get a little bumpy around here. Delta traffic, 7998 Charlie, turning right downwind, 1, 2, Delta. thousand now. Or maybe this is the same one. I thought the other one was on the other side of those. Hey, Electronic Booty, 201 Charlie Bravo is four miles to the northeast uh, in Benford Landing. I will do a uh, teardrop to uh, right down wind runway 16. Delta. Yeah, this must be the same one. I thought it was on the other side of those hills. That's cool. I like it. Gotta be the same one. Alright, so we're climbing. Let's see what the trim has us climb at. So that's at 80. So that's, uh, let's do up trim a little bit. That's a, that says a thousand, but I think that's a little bit of a zoom. 600, 550. Let's get it, get the airspeed down to 72. Oh, well that's, that's right about, well, actually I guess I was about 70. Let's see here. 500. It's hard to get it at a consistent rate of climb. That's about 72. 550, 600, 700, I don't know, so it's hard to say. And just for fun. Hey, with traffic, Lindy 201 Charlie Bravo is overflying midfield, run uh, 1,500, will we do a teardrop to right downwind, runway 16, Taylor. Auburn traffic is 4 1 delta, 3 miles east of field, west downward fly center field, inner downwind, 4 runway 16, Auburn. So, yeah, at a steep nose high altitude like this, well, that's 600. Okay, so that was maybe 400. So, it's still climbing, but a lot of mush. And then it broke right there. So, that's interesting. So, let me get up. A little bit higher here. So that's with heat on. And let's let's pretend we're coming into land.
to that. It's like 900 feet a minute down. Alright, so that's another thing I wanted to... So, full power would stick way back. Harbor traffic, just uh, 5437 Quebec. I'm about four miles from the northeast, inbound to landing at 16, Robert. It climbs, but not by much. Harbor traffic of 416 Delta, one mile east of Philly, going fly center field near the right tail with 16, Bob. And, uh, power off. It looks like it sinks like 900 feet a minute. Looked like that was about what it was. So it really sinks, but it also is right on the edge of stalling. And unless I'm inputting rudder, it's going to be bad news. That's cool, that's what I wanted to figure out. And one thing I wanted to do... Let's figure this out. So let's come back to idle. And that's about 72. So let's... Slip and see what's that say? We're off the chart there, so I think that's more than a thousand feet per minute down in a slip. Yeah, because it cuts off at a thousand. So yeah, more than a thousand feet per minute if you slip with the uh, rudder pegged and the aileron way over, hard over, not hard over, but over uh, enough to counter the aileron or the rudder. Looks like something over a thousand feet per minute. Alright, that's fine. Let's go back. back to regular cruising here. Climbing a little bit. I'm going to go over this hilltop by these antennas just for fun. But I'll have several hundred feet and the hill drops away over here. And I got lots of airspeed. Yeah, I should hear them. Well, if anyone's talking there. Alright, now I'm around the southern edge of the restricted area. I flew through the edge of the MOA, but that's okay. Alright, I got around the edge of that restricted airspace. Alright, Olympia is right over there. I can see the state capitol. And their airspace, though, is just a couple miles to my left. It's Class D. I'm staying away from there. And I got restricted airspace right off my right wing tip. Oh, so there's a runway right there. And maybe another one right over here. I'm gonna go a little further. Yeah, there's a strip right there. Great. 
Ray. Army Air, was it Army Air, AAF, Army Airfield, I think. One nineteen three two five. One nineteen three two five. Yeah, I think I'll see if I can see approximately where Mike lives and where it is relative to their airspace. Although, I don't know, maybe no one's flying out of there today anyway. Might not matter. I might be able to go anywhere I want. So, I'll ask him. Gray Tower, Luscombe, 1813 Kilo. 1813 Kilo, Gray Tower. Yeah, Luscombe, 1813 Kilo. I'm just west of DuPont, and I was wondering if I could uh, do some circling turns over the Amazon warehouse in western DuPont. I'm at 1500. 13 Kilo, approved as requested, altimeter 3011, report completion. Uh, Luscombe, 13 Kilo, thank you. So yeah, Mike's house should be So I've been on their frequency for like 10 minutes and didn't hear a thing Alright, let's keep, keep it at 2400 or so Because I want to be doing some steep turns here So really what I'm going to do, oh there's a golf course right there, so I think uh, is that Mike's house? So let me just take a look out the window. I don't see anybody. Yeah, that's Mike's house. Keep, keep the speed up. Gray Tower, Luscom 1813 Kilo, departing your airspace to the west. Thanks a lot. 13 Kilo, frequency change proof. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. All right, so I think I'll go do some landings at Comaneros. One, two, four, zero, five. Variable at four, visibility one, zero. Sky condition, ceiling 2,500 broken. on initial contact, you have ATIS information, Quebec. Quebec. All right. This is Tacoma Narrows Airport information, Quebec, 1853 observation. Wind variable at four, visibility one zero. Sky condition, ceiling 2,500 broken. Temperature one two, dew point six, altimeter three zero one three. Okay, let me look. Expect an ILS approach, runway 17 in use. 
advisory. All aircraft use caution for deer and other wildlife on the airport. Advise on initial contact. You have ATIS information. Quebec. All right, so 17. So that means I'll be going to the north and then landing back this direction. This is Tacoma Narrows Airport information. Quebec. 1853 observation. Tacoma Narrows Tower, Luscom 1813 Kilo at 1500, uh, just over Stillicum. Uh, with Quebec, I'd like to do a few full stop landings. Let's come 1813 Kilo to come to our island. Let's come 13 Kilo, enter a left midfield downwind for my 17. Left midfield downwind for 1-7, Lusk of 1 3 Kilo. So, does that mean I'm supposed to enter the downwind at midfield, I guess? So, 45. Cool. So, I'm in the airspace. Just now. 3 Juliet, Victor, Tacoma Ground, you cleared to Hoquiam Airport via the Narrows 1 departure, then it's filed. Maintain 2000. Departure frequency 120.1, squawk 4616. So this, let's see here, so field elevation is 300, so I'll get down to 1300 here. Person 3 Juliet Victor, read back is correct, advise right attack. All right, we're at 1300, do a midfield entry here on a 45. I think that's what he told me to do. Not exactly midfield, but... That was my best. Luscom 13 Kilo, runway 17, clear to land. Luscom 13 Kilo, clear to land, 17. Alrighty. Awesome. Yeah, this is a really sweet runway. Alright, last time I was just kept coming in high. Every time, car beats on, come back to 1500, pull up trim. See if I can do a better landing than I did at uh, Jehalis. That's the cool thing about a tower, I don't need to say all the field, where I am, what I'm doing, then the field again. Nope, this might not be a bad approach here. But yeah, I'm gonna be, uh, I don't know. Not too bad. Yeah, probably didn't even need to add that power, but that doesn't hurt. sinker there. Yep, dropped it in a little bit. But overall not bad. Not bad at all. One, two, three, four, five, 
Six, seven. Come on, tower, let's come one three kilo, ready to, uh, for departure. I'd like to stay in the pattern for another landing. Let's come one three kilo, Roger, make left close traffic, runway at one seven, cleared for takeoff. Let's come one three kilo, cleared for takeoff, runway one seven. And we'll do left turns. Interesting, when I came here before, it did a, a whole bunch of landings. Cessna 3 Juliet Victor, contact Seattle Departure. I did. Seattle Departure for 3 Juliet Victor. Yeah, me do right hand pattern. So it's kind of fun that at a tower airport they just have you do whatever they want. Just follow their directions. Piece of cake. All right, let's uh, keep the airspeed up a little bit here. I'll want maybe add a little power. That's right, I'm gonna have that sinker here on the end anyway. Had to adjust. Never mind. That's okay. Tacoma Tower, Luscom 1 3 Kilo, ready for takeoff. I'd like to stay in the pattern. Luscom 1 3 Kilo, make right close traffic, runway at 1 7, clear for takeoff. Luscom 1 3 Kilo, clear for takeoff, 1 7, right traffic. Alright, so now he's having me do what I did before, probably because I said the guy's transitioning our airspace. I don't know, maybe he's... I didn't quite catch it. Maybe he's over, over there, probably. Extra, you cleared to Hoquiam Airport via the Narrows 1 departure, then it's filed. Maintain 2000, departure frequency 120.1, squawk 4631. Shoot, right close traffic. Don't forget. System 43 X read back is correct, advised and ready with power. Tower, Cherokee 4730, Fox Trust, uh, Browns Point, with Delta for landing. Cherokee 4730, Fox Trust, come tower, make straight in, runway 17, report over point defiance. Support point defiance for straight in 1730, Fox Trust. That'd be nice living right there. If you don't mind the airplane. Right, tower cap 4615 uh, inbound on the iOS 17 approach, and we'd like to do a touch and go. Cap 4615, come tower, continue approach. 4615, continuing the approach. Cap 4615, stay tap aircraft. For Cessna 172, slant go. Roger. I'll try wheel any this time, maybe. And it doesn't matter. Looking for traffic. Thank you. Doesn't matter if I land long anyway because that taxiway is way down there. So this Cup is. Cup nine or five two. Freaking change crew. Good night. This is good. All right. Level off. Okay, so seven six zero traffic on site. We'll maintain visual. So seven six zero. Roger. Thanks. Nailed it. Airport traffic's at your uh, 11 o'clock, about two miles at 1,900. Has you in sight? Airport, 7 o'clock. Woohoo! 
Awesome. All right, I think I'll get out of here this time. Tacoma Tower, Luscombe, one three kilo. If I could uh, depart the area over the Narrows Bridges and then east over Tacoma, that'd be great. Luscombe, one three kilo. Roger, hold short of the runway. Luscombe, one three kilo, hold short. Uh, let's go on three kilo, and actually, if I could do a right down when that might be a little nicer, I could, I guess, set up over 16 to cross the Narrows Bridges. Let's go on one three kilo. Confirm you you intended to part. You want to right downwind, and then you want to cross the extended center line just off the approach end. Uh, let's go on three kilo. Affirmative. Let's go one three kilo. Roger. Stand by. Hold short of the runway. Cessna 76 at Sierra, traffic departing runway at 17 will be in a right turn, I'll departure in. 76 Sierra. And 76 Sierra has my sight. Luscom 13 Kilo, make a right downwind departure, runway 17 cleared for takeoff. Luscom 13 Kilo, cleared for takeoff, runway 17. Cap 4615, traffic's no factor, contact Seattle departure, good day. Seattle departure, good day, Cap 4615. Seven six Sierra runway one seven cleared to land. Seven six Sierra cleared to land one seven. All righty. Tacoma Towers, Cessna 1143 X ray, holding short of 17, ready for departure. Cessna 1143 X ray, Tacoma Tower, hold short of the runway. Hold short of the runway, 43 X ray. Luskin 13 Kilo, I'll call your eastbound turn off the downwind. Luskin 13 Kilo, I'll wait for my eastbound call from you. Yep, that's cool. Because he's probably got incoming traffic he needs to sequence me with. So this is, my, this is West. I needed to make sure uh, that he wasn't telling me to wait for this, but nope. So I'll fly downwind, and I'll just keep flying downwind, which will be north, until I hear from the tower. Just uh, keep it at 13. All right, got lots of gas. fly over the house a little bit, and then, well, if I can find it easily enough. That was not veer off to the set towards the center line there. Luscom 13 Kilo, eastbound turn approved your discretion. Luscom 13 Kilo, turning east, thanks a lot. X-ray runway 17, clear for takeoff. 17, clear for takeoff, 43 X-ray. Cessna 76 Sierra, where do you park? 76 Sierra, going to fuel. Cessna 76 Sierra, are you looking for the self-serve? Roger, self-serve fuel, 76 Sierra. Cessna 76 Sierra, roger, taxi to park Alpha Bravo 2, monitor ground point 8. 76 Sierra, taxi to park Alpha Bravo, monitor ground point 8.
All right, let's uh, maybe fly over the house, then we'll go east a little bit. And uh, then we'll head back and land them. Then we'll go home. Almost one o'clock. No sailboat down there. Motoring along. What is that? Attention aircraft information, Romeo current altimeter 3013. Traffic Luscombe 1813 Kilo, 5 miles uh, to the northwest. I'll enter downwind uh, for 35 on a 45. Pierce County. Pierce County, glass here, 5 miles north. Traffic RV 1080 Juliet, take off runway 35, northwest departure. There's traffic AC, mile 524, Oakland. Pierce County traffic, Luska 1813, Kimo's on a 45 for the downwind for 35, Pierce County. County traffic, Luska 1813 kilos, turning downwind for 35, Pierce County. The glass there will pass behind the RV on the upwind, follow the Luska on the downwind. High inside, Pierce County. Traffic, Luska 1813 Kilo, starting left base for 35, Pierce County. Now let's just go to idle. I was in a few high. Be okay, I think. Be is good. Pierce County traffic, Luska 1813 Kilo, turning final for 35, Pierce County. Is extending downwind. Thank you. No problem. I started to add a little throttle. Yeah, I always get nervous, but I don't know. Might be just fine here. Let's see. Maybe a hair low. Add a little power. Yeah, this is a good. Pierce County, good South approach. November 64180, eight miles south of the Pierce County Airport for landing on one way 35, Pierce County. He's good. Uh, yeah, that's actually real nice. That is a teeny bit hard, but. Pierce County Glass here, final. Not too bad. Not too bad. Too bad at all. Pierce County traffic, RV5 Lima Lima is over to Fredericks to plan 2,000 feet northbound, planning on entering a 45 for 35 Pierce County. Pierce County traffic, Lusk at 1813 kilos, clear of runway 35 Pierce County. Wait. Alive. Made it. Thank you. Just 100 approximately. 10 straight in 2-4. Hopefully in traffic. Chris Gatcher, I was still hostage 4-1-8-0. 
Everybody. 